spend five million dollars at Trader Joe's again? Almost. I spent two hundred and seventy dollars at Trader Joe's. Do you want to see what I got? Okay. I'm Natasha, this is my little niece Evie, and we are gonna go through and sample all the new items from Trader Joe's. Um, if you're new to my channel, I go shopping at Trader Joe's every week. This is a special haul because I have my niece here and I'm at my mom's house. So we're gonna jump in to this $270 Trader Joe's haul. So you have to stand up, Evie. Okay. And then we're gonna jump, okay? Okay. Come closer to here, right there. Come right here, and then we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump into this week's Trader Joe's haul. First, this is what we're going to sample first, the French onion popcorn. This is brand new. Um, have you ever had French onion soup? No. I don't, I don't like soup. You don't like soup? No. No soup? No. Do you like popcorn? Eh. Okay, well, um, I heard good things about this. Let's try it. Oh, wow. It's like kind of sweet, right? I don't like it. It's good. You, you know when you caramelize an onion and it gets sweet? It's so good. So you like this? Yeah. What would you give it on a 1 to 10? An 8. The claw is coming in from the outside. That's my mom's hand. She refuses to be on. Okay. That's delicious. We give that an 8 out of 10. That's brand new. Um, another brand new item. Actually, all these items are going to be brand new. Usually I do like my regular haul and the brand new items. But today we're just doing only brand new items. My mom in the background says, that's good. Referring to the French onion popcorn. Next up, we have these Irish potato chips. Ooh, and they're chips. blue cheese flavored. So I think that's going to be really interesting. Do you want to open it? Sure. Sometimes Trader Joe's things are really hard to open. Oh, you got it. Wait, this is how you open a chip. Upside Correctly. down. Upside down. Because then all the seasoning goes onto the chips. So it's like... She's a professional. I am a professional. How long have you been sampling food items? 11 years. 11 years. She's got it. Do you like blue cheese? It disgusts me. It's moldy cheese. Uh oh, here comes the claw. Um, I don't know if these are my thing, but they're interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and file that in the discard pile and reset up our taste bug. Um, one thing to point out, this is the new Trader Joe's bag. It's collapsible, and I'll show you the camera what it looks like. It's slay. Um, it is slay. That's pretty good. That's, it grows on you. Well, you can let the rest of the bag grow on you. These are new. These are the garlic gondolas. We can't sample them just yet, but we're gonna make them Those look good. with part of the dinner tonight. So you'll eat these, and then we'll report back. But Based off the look, you give this a, a pretty high rating. Oh, I give these a zero out of ten. Okay. And then I give these ten out of ten. So out of ten. So far. No, if, not, nine, nine. If nine, the nine. box isn't deceiving. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Um, this is a fun new item. My sister told me about these. These are brand new shishito crisps. Are they spicy? Crunchy fried shishitos. Well, it does say on the bag, be careful. Every once in a while, you get you might get a hot one. Um, and for those that want to know, it's just shishito peppers, rice bran oil, and salt. Let's see. If, okay, let's. Here you go. Uh, let's hope I don't die, guys. Let's hope you don't die. Let's hope neither one of us dies. You have to try it. Oh, because it's green? I know it smells disgusting. It smells disgusting? <laughs> okay. Well, if you have a. If you like shishito peppers, I really like these. They do have a shishito pepper taste, but they're crunchy. Trader Joe's came out oh, with the. Love shishito. Trader Joe's, you, you should have just been in this. They're very light and airy. Yeah, they're light and airy, and they remind me of the bell pepper crisps that Trader Joe's came out with. They need more salt. They do need more salt. I kind of want to dip them in hummus. I don't know if that'd be a good, a good thing. Um. Okay, Evie, you have to try these for me because these what? have wheat in them. Hold on. It's a cheddar and Parmesan cheese snackers, puff pastry <gasps> cheese crackers. Okay, those look good. Those look good. Oh, what do you rate the um? The shishito peppers. I give them. Good question. I give them a. Out of 10. They need more salt. They need flavor. They do need more salt. Yeah. I give them a. I didn't try them out of 10. Okay. Go for it. They look I like little croutons. croutons. Puff pastry and Looks parmesan like cheese layered into crackers, which are perfect for snacking. 
The box makes them look better than they actually are. Really? Um, but the, is that the size that they are on the box? I think so. Yeah, they're about the same size as on the box. They're interesting. They're not terrible, but they're... Would you rather eat a goldfish cracker? Yes. Okay. Goldfish is just... What do, what do you think, Martha? Um, they're kind of um, pasty. Pasty, but they're pastries. Okay. Are they pastries? But yeah, they're pastries. I mean, Cheddar and Parmesan cheese snackers, puff pastry cheese crackers. Okay, that's okay. They're, what do, they're fine. What do you rate them on a 1 to 10? Uh, 6. Martha gives them a 6. 6.5. Evie gives them a 6.5. Wow. Okay, so I got th this for you and Winnie. Um, you can't have it just yet, but have you had these before? Yes. These are, oh, you have. Does it make you sad when it melts? Because it's so cute? I don't, I don't. Hot I just cocoa the, polar bear. I really? Just, I didn't eat the chocolate. No, you have to melt it and it, it melts and then you stir it up and you drink it as hot chocolate. It's got 410 calories, 38 grams of sugar. No, added sugar. 43 grams of sugar. That's it's 15. a good one to have right before bed. Do you have any children? Um, I'm giving them treats. Um, I also got you guys and this. And keep in mind, you have to store it in a cool, dry place. Yes. Margo, there's something I need you to come see. Hold on. Mother! Um, and I also got you two. You and your sister, I got these hot chocolate stirring spoons. So, a lot of hot chocolate. And okay? Mother, come oh. get your tomato face over here. Evie, you yeah. we're having for Wait, dessert, Margo, come here. A frozen hot chocolate cheesecake. Okay, so we're trying next the Italian confit almonds. <laughs> no, what? what? One of my, these are Italian confit almonds. One of our favorite almonds. movies is bride, Bridesmaids. Bridesmaids or is it Bridesmaids? Bridesmaids. Um, and when they're in the wedding room area, and she's having a shop. And they're having like a standoff, and they eat these even though she's like has the worst food sickness. Don't wait, choke wait, on it. Wait, wait, wait. What's it topped with? Mmm. Can't bite into it. They do taste really fancy. Mm -hmm. They've got that almost like powdered sugar mm -hmm. flavor. Oh no, I eat it. What? You can eat it. Like icing. Kind of like icing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I would say it's like icing. I'm sure there's some saltiness. Yeah. It's not the sweet. Avola almonds with sweet candy coating. I'd, I'd rather eat chocolate, so I give these like a I'm not eat this. 6 out of 10. Yeah. So we're still saying, we think the French onion popcorn is still the best thing. I got, I got 6.5. I just a 7. Not as bad as I thought it would be. What else we've got in here? Okay. The chocolate is a pound. This is brand new. Granny Smith apple spirited fruit spread. Can you bring a spoon, please? Um, let's try this. Is it safe to eat fruit? Or it's got like chunks, little chunks of fruit in it. Let's see if this is good. This is gracious. Well, we're going to have to put it on a, on a chip. I'll, um, I'll have a piece that's not a chunk. You try it? Double dipping. Hmm. This would be good on a cheese board. You put it with like, we did make, we this have a cheese delish. board going right now. It's really sweet. It's got chunky pieces of apple in it. It's this actually really delish. good. It's delish. It is delish. Yeah. Super good. Um, it has apple I'm and pear brandy. I'm surprised there's only been one thing you can't eat because you're allergic to literally. Oh, there's more. I know. I'm allergic to a lot of things. Margot, this has brandy in it. But I don't think it's, I think it's cooked off. It's cooked off. What? Nothing. Um, next up, this is brand new. This is the Body Wash and Serum Duo, which I'm excited. Am I going to die from eating that? No, you're not. Body Wash and Serum yeah. Duo. So this is brand new. Give your body care routine, routine a glow up. Trader Joe's is having um, someone from Gen Z write these descriptions now. Yes. With Trader Joe's Body Wash and Serum Duo. So it's bergamot body wash and it's, Got some really good ingredients in it, B3, vitamin green tea extract, mm. and argon oil. And then the scent is derived entirely from essential oils. And then it, afterwards, there's a body serum for added hydration. So let's smell. This doesn't have a scent, but this is supposed to have a scent. Okay. I'm like the skincare I like the master. Design. I'm like the skincare master here. What do you think of that? That smells really good. I love that. 
Oh, yeah, that does smell good. It smells fancy, and the tin that it comes it in is really nice. It almost smells better than my Sol de Janeiro. How do you know about Sol de Janeiro? I have Sol de Janeiro. That's like the body butter, the Brazilian body butter, right? And it has perfume. Yeah. I have one of their perfumes. Oh, wow. I want to try this serum. It's unscented, which I love, because sometimes you want to just smell like your favorite perfume, not other things. Do you want to put some in my hand? She is also a skincare expert. Mm. So I mean, it doesn't really friends, smell. That just moisturizing. Job. You and your perfect skin. I do like that. I'm excited to use this. Cool. So you apply a thin layer to clean dry skin and follow the moisture prior for daytime. I really like this. And it feels like really high quality comes in this tin. Do you want to tap on it with your nail? See, that's how oh, yes. Slight press on nails. Okay, a trio of chocolate boules. Festive wrapped oh, Italian you know chocolate. Yeah. Do you like the chocolate? No, of course not. Oh. You just have to. Oh. No! Her press on nail failed. My nail! It's okay. We can leave it till after the show. This, we never said it wouldn't get dangerous in here, Evie. You just hold on to it. So, I think I'm saying, is it Bules? B O U L E S? Italian wrapped Italian chocolate. So, there's a milk chocolate caramel filling coated in milk chocolate, white chocolate hazelnut filling coated in milk chocolate, and dark chocolate filling coated in dark chocolate. Um, I'm going to go with the milk chocolate caramel. I don't know which one's which, so we don't know. That's for you. Wait. What, what is, I missed it. It's oh, this is the chocolate. caramel one. It says on the wrapper which one it is. This is caramel. caramel. On the caramel one. Here, take that. This is a hazelnut. Do you want a hazelnut? I guess. I suppose. These are like very fun to unwrap. Yeah. Give yourself a little gift every day. Yeah. Don't choke on this. Round things scare me. Oh. Hmm. Oh, that's really Oh, we need to have a light on in there. We got a bite. Yes, mm. It's really nice chocolate. Mm -hmm. For milk chocolate, this is like high end. At least it tastes high end. Well. Wow. She says slay. Slay. What do you give these on a one to ten? Mm -hmm. An eight. Nothing's reached the ten out of ten yet. I give these a nine. These are really good. And I just oh, love that you put them in a little bowl. Um a five because it scares me because they acted concerned. But if you weren't, if we did not concern, 9.5. 9.5, that's close. Okay. Next up, um, I picked up some moisturizing hand cream. I'm going to give this to my mom because she likes yes, to cook. Yes, please. I was just going to say I need hand cream. There's mandarin, orange, and spices. She needs hand cream. Pear, awesome. Well, there's three. Oh. Pear and vetiver and jasmine and ginger. But I love their hand creams. They're amazing. They make your hands super soft. Not greasy. Not greasy. Um, and then I also picked up the lip balm, the lip butter balm duo, vanilla mint lip butter balm and brown sugar lip butter balm. I'm not a fan of things that smell or look like, smell like this, but I know a lot of people do like flavored lip balms. Do you like, do you use I lip just, balms? It no, I love makes your lips soft and moist. My mother can tell you, I have like 50 bajillion lip balms. Really? Well, I have all my Lanage and I have my Summer Fridays. You have Lanage and Summer Fridays? Well, this is Trader Joe's. Okay, let's see if it can What's okay. this one? She's going to review it. Um, This is the, that's brown sugar. But this is vanilla mint. I'm not a balm person. Brown sugar. Very minty. And it's kind of sweet because I licked it. <laughs> I, all of that bothers me. Like, I don't want to really eat this. But it does feel nice. It's, it's a little bit heavier. Or do you like it? What? Do you want to keep those this and this add them to your collection? Yes, yes, yes. So you're going to add them to your collection. This is vanilla mint. Hmm. The vanilla mint is my favorite. Okay. This one is um, interesting. Okay, I've got something I can't try, but you have to try it. This is peanut. That's okay. This is a peanut brittle. Peanut brittle. This is brand new. You can have peanut. This is a. Yeah. What do you rate those? A nine, because this one is my favorite. But this one, this one's really good. You can use them. You can have them your collection. And that's that's a strong nine because. Yeah. She rates Laneige, Laneige, Laneige. How do you say it? Laneige. Laneige and Summer Fridays. 
Next up is something I'm very allergic to, peanut brittle. Ooh, it smells like peanut butter. Smells like peanut butter? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think it has peanut butter in it. It has peanut and unsalted butter. Peanuts are the only nut I like. Really? I used to eat them when I was little, but then I'd fall asleep immediately. Am I supposed to be sorry? Sorry. Yeah. Like that? Do you like it? You know what you could do with peanut butter? You could peanut brittle, you could crush it up and like dust it on vanilla ice cream or chocolate that ice cream. That sounds good. Yeah. I don't know if eating it straight is a good idea. Well, it's sticking to my teeth. Yeah. It's sticky? Uh, yeah, I could see that. Do you like it? Okay. Yeah, it's good. It's good. What do you give it on a one to ten? Eight to six to my teeth. Eight to six to your teeth. Another thing you can add to a cheese board, just make sure your guests are allergic to peanuts. Um <laughs> Okay, and next up, um, we have got the brand new Stolen Crisp. Stolen Crisp is a crispy and sweet cracker inspired by German holiday bread with raisins, powdered sugar, orange, and lemon peel. Okay, raisins. I love raisins. You like raisins? Mm -hmm. okay. People think I'm insane for liking raisins. No one, you're not insane for liking yeah. raisins. I, I wish I could eat these little crisps. They always come out with different types of crisp crackers, and these are the Stolen Crisp. Wait, you're allergic to these? Yes, there's gluten. There's wheat. But they look good. Ow. I'm going to take a tiny corner. I recommend not doing these. Oh, those are good. It's like a sweet cracker. Hmm? I, I would give these like a... I mean, they're sweeter, so and they're more seasonal. I'd probably give these like an 8 out of 10. They're really good. If you like the crisp, these are really nice holiday crisps. I have a seven. You have a seven? All right. All right, we're not going to sample these because they're for the dogs, but these are new. These are called Bully Chewers. Oh. They're beef skin, beef skin and bully Whoa. sticks made with real beef pizzle. Well, Wait, here. she's getting her dog involved. Okay, hello, Blue. Blue, stop. This is Blue? Sit. Good boy. Oh, he's sniffing it. He's he's, he's not just taking it. Blue. Oh, now he's, he's received. Oh, he's a highly... Distracted. Blue. The coyote will take it. My mom's coyote, 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 which is her dog's name. It's not an actual coyote. So I think the dogs like it. Blue, would you like to would you like one there? Oh, one of the other dogs got it. Boo wants one here. Okay. That's too big for Boo. Yeah, break it. No, it's really, really hard. Don't give him that big one. There. Yeah, I think of that. They're, they're, they're big and they're really hard. Blue, do you want one? Um, like this is one of my favorite items that comes out seasonally every year at Trader Joe's. So, Evie, do you want to see something fun? Yeah. We're getting buried in Trader Joe's goodies. So, this is how you do this. So, you take this orange out. It's an orange? Kind of. Orange so, what do you do? You know, you smack it. Smack it with your hand. Like hard? Yeah, like, smack it like hard. You, I want it to break? No, you're supposed to. What does it say? Yeah. No, it says break apart with wrap on whack orange. Oh, we have to whack the orange. So uh, slam, yeah. it, slam it down. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she got it. So this is fun. And then you open it. Let me show the camera. It's and it beautiful. breaks into all these little orange slices. Is it an actual orange? Yeah, this is an actual orange from a chocolate orange tree. I want one. Yeah. Mm, I love these. It's so good. Dark chocolate and orange. Do you want one, Mom? This is good. Oh, sorry. This is everything I imagined. What do you give this one? A one to ten. Thank you. A ten. We did it. She gives us a ten out of ten. And these are seasonal. Yum. So if you see it, you have to go buy it. Okay. Then, Especially for children, they will like it. Um, these are brand new crackers. This is an elevated cracker assortment. Martha. What? Shh. Oh. This is an elevated cracker assortment. Buttermilk crackers, plum and date toast, lemon and black pepper crackers. Which one would you like to try? They come individually wrapped. So you've got three different types of assortment. You can set them all out or one at a time. Do you want to do buttermilk, plum and date toast, or lemon and black pepper? I trust that one. Mm. Mm. I trust this one though. 
These are also fancy and they, I bet, would pair well with those almonds on a cheese board. Who would you want to make a cheese board? Well, we made a weird cheese plate. The two cheeses I got tonight are the horseradish cheddar and I also got the, um, it's, a, it's one of the Goudas I always buy. But, oh, Old Amsterdam Gouda. Really, really good. She got it open. It smells interesting. Can you smell it? It doesn't smell too bad. It smells lemony. So there's three types of crackers in this. And they've made them beautiful based off what they put on top. You can do prosciutto and apples. Oh, you no, that's just marketing. Lemon. <laughs> You're not wrong. Give it a bite. Let's see if it's good. Is it a tiny nibble? Is it because those look like adult crackers? Hmm? What, do you, what do you give it on a 1 to 10? Boom! I didn't get any flavor because I took such a small bite. Here, Martha, you're going to sample? Martha's my mom, but sometimes we call her Martha. Are you going to give it your review? Do you want to put some crackers in there? No, we want more of the orange thing. Oh, oh. do you want the orange? Mm -hmm. No, no, don't take. It. What do you These rate? Good. They have salt. They have salt on them, so they're nice and salty. Mm -hmm. What do you give it on a one to ten? Ooh, he said it's eight. My mom says eight. That's that's a lot coming from Martha. And then last but not least, um, I got this candle for my mom. It's red fruit and forest, but it's the wick that does the crackling wick. So if you forget this is lit, you think something might be on fire. This has some spice to it, too. Yeah, it's the black pepper. Ooh. What do you think? Would you want your room to smell like that? Kind of yeah. smells like the holidays, right? This is the red fruits in the forest scented candle. And like I say, gotta make sure you can see the forest through the trees. That doesn't make any sense. And then this is the brand new bag. So it can go flat. So it's this, it's like a square. And then it can go flat like this, so easy storage. It's got two handles, longer handles, and then a shorter handle. I bought two of them, I think they're $3.99 each. Um, and there's only one style, but there's like a front and a back, like in a nighttime and a daytime theme. I think not the actual good size is one because there is a floating strawberry. Strawberry. That's a good, good. point. It strawberry looks like Saturn, right? Because your has... poinsettia tipped over. Oh no, not the poinsettia. So we also got a poinsettia. Um, and I, I picked up a grump tree for my mom because this is probably the extent to which she'll be decorating. And a poinsettia that my sister that's coming will probably steal because she steals all the poinsettias. And that's it. That was, I don't even know how much money I spent. The whole haul was 270 but I didn't go through the stuff that I'm going to be cooking for dinner tonight um, just to save time. But thank you, Evie, for your great yeah, reviews. I give you a 10 out of 10 for reviewing. And... You know, maybe next time you come visit me, you can be in another Trader Joe's haul. It might be for effort. Oh, I don't know. It'll be prior. It's uh, the last fall. Was it last week? I think so. I think, uh, when is a basketball, Anthony? That was, that's what, that's already happened. I think that's our other oh. 10 out of 10. Really? 10 out of 10? That's actually. All right. Good. You heard it.